хүн өдрийн мэндийг хүргэе. 12 дахь удаагийн Японд суралцах мэдээллийн цахим ярмагт манд цаг зав гаргаан оролцож байгаа та бүхэнд их баярлалаа. Өнөөдөр маргааш хоёр өдрийн төршүүлгэжлэх мэдээллийн ярмагт манд энэ жил 10 улсын болон хувийн Японд нэгтээ сургалууд оролцож байна. Нэг байгууллага мөн оролцож байгаа. Мөн та бүхэн идэв Японд манай цахим хуудсанд байрлах бус сургалуудын материалтай бас танилцаарай. Монгол Японд хэлээр байгаа шүү. Сургалын танилцуулга одоо нэг цаг үргэлжлэн нь ихний 30 40 минут орчим танилцуулга яваад үлдсэн 15-аас 20 минутанд нь асуулт хариултан цаг үлдэж байгаа. Тиймээс та бүхэн сургалынхаа тайлбар бүрэн дүрэн сонсчихоод Q&A хэсэгт нь асуултаа бичээрэй. Манай ажилтны та бүхний асуулт нь хариулаад явах болно. Харин сургалын танилцуулгад урдагдаагүй танд хэрэгтэй асуулт байж бол бид сургалын төлөөлөгчдөөс нь асуулж өгөх болно. Бус сургалын маргааш болох маргааш сургалд Маргааш энэ сургалын танилцуулгын цагаас энэ төр хоцрох юм бол эсвэл дахин давтаж үзэх шаардлагатай болох юм бол энэ бичлэгүүд дахин тавигдах болно. Тийм болохоор эдүү Japan цэгийн цахим хуцаар маань юм уу эсвэл YouTube-ийн Монгол Японы төв альбиасны хуцаар зочилж ороод давтаж үзэх боломжтой шүү. За ингээд энэ өнөөдрийн сүүлийн сургалт болох Hyogo Mojik сургалыг танилцуулгаа хийнөө гэмээн үрж байна. Яг Kingrich the Dagako тоошгүй нэг юм аас. So thank you for uh, joining uh... Global Business Core session of University of Hyogo. Before the presentation, our Professor Matsumura will greet you. So please welcome Professor Matsumura. Hello. My name is Koki Matsumura. I'm a professor of University of Hyogo. I visited Mongolia two years ago to attend a study abroad fair in Rambato. So I was impressed by many students who are interested in Japan. Today, we want to introduce you to our university's global business course. This course has many international students from all over the world because this course has a unique education of learning business and economics in English. And the university is located in a very attractive city of Kobe. Additionally, we also have a support system for you to live in Japan. Therefore, we promise you will have a wonderful student life. We hope many Mongolian students will study at our university global business course and become a bridge between Mongolia and uh, Japan after graduation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Matsumura. So, uh, so let me introduce myself. I'm Hiromi Uesugi. I'm an international student coordinator of Global Business Course of University of Hyogo. Today, it's, uh, I'm very honored to have this opportunity to introduce Global Business Course to you. So let me share the slide. Wait a second, please. So do you see the slide? I guess. Okay, so let me, let me begin. So um, welcome to Global Business Core session. Sorry, so this is the first page. So welcome to introduction to the Global Business Course. And uh, before uh, we go to the, we introduce our university, we're going to give you some general information about the location. So Hyogo, uh, University of Hyogo is located in Hyogo Prefecture in Japan. So where is Hyogo, Hyogo Prefecture? So Hyogo Prefecture is located in the center of Honshu Island, the largest Japan's four main island. So this is main island and Hyogo is located almost the center of the main island. Hyogo population is 5.4 million. 
as you can see from these pictures, in winter time, if you go to the mountain area, you can enjoy the snow activities. And in the summertime, if you go to the beach area, you can enjoy the relaxing beach time. There are so many places to visit in Hyogo Prefecture. So this is uh, Hyogo uh, Himeji Castle. So this is one of the uh, must, must go to the place. So this is called White, White Heron Castle and this is a world heritage. It's very beautiful and it's very stunning. So now about Kobe city. This is a famous night view of Port of Kobe. Kobe city is the capital city of Hyogo prefecture and it is seventh largest city in Japan. Kobe has a population of around 1.5 million and Kobe is part of the Keihanshin metropolitan area, which includes nearby Kyoto and Osaka. So it's very close to go to Kyoto and Osaka and you can do actually one day trip from Kobe city. Kobe attractions. There are a lot of Kobe attractions. You can enjoy the nice um, Christmas illumination in Kobe Street, Main Street. And again, you can enjoy the Harbor area. And also if you like soccer football, you can enjoy the, the game. We have a professional soccer team in Kobe. Kobe Enterprises. The Kobe city is was founded in 1889, and Kobe is one of the first Japanese cities to open for trade with the West, and remains a cosmopolitan city that is home to global companies such as ASICS, the famous sports, sports maker, and PMG, and Kobelco Steel, and Kawasaki Industries, and there are so many uh, worldwide companies located in Kobe. So now, University of Hyogo. So we're going to give you some general information of University of Hyogo. We have six undergraduate schools, nine graduate schools, four affiliated research institutes, nine campuses. The university has produced many talented graduates in economics, medicine, industry, and healthcare area. And the history wise, um, University of Hyogo is, has quite a long history. It's almost 100 years old. Kobe Campus for Commerce is located in the educa educational district about 20 minutes by train from Kobe downtown. And this is also home of global business course, uh, what we are going to introduce today. Okay, so Global Business Course is under School of Economic and Management. There are, other, there are other two courses, which is Economic Course and Management Course, but those two courses are taught in Japanese. And Global Business Course is very unique course and fully taught in English, full English program. And will take 80 students per year and uh, 30 international students and 50 Japanese students. Okay, now global business course. Okay, so before we go to the details of G GBC, we just call it GBC because it's global business course is a little bit too long. So before we go to the details of GBC, many of you are uh, wondering if you can get scholarship or not. And the answer is yes. So Global Business Course offers mixed uh, scholarship, which is Japanese government scholarship. And this is a brief information about uh, mixed scholarship. And I'm going to give you more detailed information later of this presentation. So let's see these important numbers. First one is number four. This is full four-year scholarship. And 
Number eight, eight international GBC students are eligible to receive this next scholarship. So of course, um, for the enrollment for next September, uh, eight international students are eligible to receive this scholarship. And 10, so this is not um, directly uh, uh, the number to you, but only 10 universities out of 780 universities in Japan are granted this mixed scholarship from Japanese government. So not all Japanese university have this special scholarship to offer to you. Okay, now features of global business course, GBC. All classes conducted in English, like I said before. So this means your Japanese skills are not required for GBC at the time of entering uh, to GBC. And class size uh, limited to ensure quality education. Intensive Japanese classes prepare you for work in Japan. I said, uh, you don't have to uh, have the Japanese skill, but at, at the entrance of GBC, but after you enter GBC, you can have opportunity to learn Japanese. And then the goal of the uh, GBC International Student Master N2 level Japanese by the time of graduation. So at the beginning, at the very start, you don't have to know anything about Japanese, but by the time you graduate GBC, uh, our goal is for all students to get the L2 level Japanese. So, but, so don't worry, you can learn Japanese after you enter our university. And number four, work experience in Japanese and multinational corporations. So you can also have a, a work experience as an internship program during the third year. So let's say, let's see what kind of countries our GBC students are from. So this GBC, GBC course is a very young course and st just started from 2019. So we have the students from 2019 enrollment and 2020 enrollment. As you see, uh, we have um, more, more Asian uh, students, like for example, uh, Thailand from Thailand, we have 14 students from two years ago, like Indonesian students, seven uh, from 2019. And also last year, we have uh, six Indonesian students, and eight Vietnam students, but uh, we have also uh, students from Europe, like such as Romania, and uh, from Africa, like Zambia students. So there's a lot of uh, countries. And this year, 2021, we just welcomed two Mongolian students, but uh, unfortunately they cannot join the face-to-face -face classes yet, but they are taking uh, online courses under global business course. So year one, you will learn liberal art and introductory subjects such as Japanese language, Japanese culture and society, and so on. Year two, intermediate subjects such as micro, microeconomics, macroeconomics, strategic management, and so on. Year three, you will learn advanced subjects and field study programs such as public economics, economic development, uh, entrepreneurship. Year four, the last year, so you you get uh, you will take more advanced subjects and specialization such as research and thesis. So this is GBC course outline. Like I just said, from the first year to fourth year, you will learn more, more and more advanced. You start from the introductory subjects, and then uh, you, go, you, you, you will study more advanced subjects. And as I said, during the third year, you have 
field study program. So you have an opportunity to work in a Japanese companies as an inter intensive program. And you may be interested in to pursue your career, uh, your study for master's degree. So just uh, this year, April 2021, we opened Global Business Master's Degree Program. So you can learn DBC for four years. And furthermore, if your academic performance is very good, you can finish undergraduate school uh, only third year and your fourth year, you can continue your master's degree under a Global Business Master's Degree Program. So in total, uh, you can finish undergraduate course and graduate course in uh, five years in total. So this is a bit too hard to see, but this is a kind of idea what kind of class is open for the students from 2020 fall semester. So uh, you can see the global economy project seminar. So you have a same seminar class from the first year as well. Sorry. So finally, after four years, a Bachelor of Economics will be awarded. Sorry, it doesn't go, okay. Now I'm going to explain how you can apply. Admissions. So we accept 30 international students every year from all over the world. Eligibilities. So there are two main eligibilities. The first one is educational qualification. Second one is English proficiency. So as for the first one, uh, you have to complete or expect it to complete a 12 year curriculum of school education in a foreign country or have an equivalent education as specified by the Minister of Education in Japan. So basically you have to uh, complete 12 years education in order to apply for GBC. That's okay, second one is English proficiency. And you have to meet at the minimum level of English proficiency because GBC is totally English program. So you have to understand all the classes in English. But as you see, this score does not seem very high. So this is the kind of minimum level of the English proficiency you have to meet to apply for GBC. Screening process. There are two screening process process. And the first one, uh, first process is document screening. So you have to submit application materials. And after we very verify your application documents, the second step, step will be interview. So you will be um, invited to the interview. An interview will be conducted in English, either in your country or online. But basically, uh, like under this pandemic situation, uh, the interview would be is conducted in uh, online, like the so required materials to apply for GBC. You don't have to remember all of this. You can always check the, what you need to submit in application guidelines, which you can download from our homepage. But uh, like you have to submit application forms, and you have to submit also application essays. You have to write two short essays and you have to collect certificate of academic transcript and English proficiency score and recommendation letter from your school and other necessary documents. Okay. And this is key dates. So if you want to take a GBC exam, Application period is open from December 16th this year till January 5th 
next year. So all the application materials have to be submitted during these days. So not even before, or of course not after. And after we verify your application materials, you will be invited to the interview, which will be scheduled sometime in February next year. And the exam result will be informed you approximately two or maybe three weeks after the interview. Okay, now fee structures. So let's see the tuition fees. So regular fee per year is approximately 5,000 US dollar. But as we explained before, University of Hyogo is public university operated under Hyogo Prefecture. So we have strong relationship with Hyogo Prefecture and this is kind of scholarship, but we, we will have a, you will have a Hyogo Prefecture's financial support of 50% tuition exemption. So all GBC internal students will receive 50% exemption of the tuition fee, which is around 2,500 US dollars. So this is the uh, tuition fee per year after 50% exemption. And furthermore, after two years to fourth year, if you are your performance is within top 30%, you will receive 100% exemption, which means zero dollars. So if you keep always um, your performance within top 30% for the second year, third year, fourth year, you don't have to pay any tuition fees just for the first year. So please work hard. And this is another uh, important fee you need to pay. And first one is application fee and second one is admission fee. So those two fees are only one-time payment and application fee is to apply for GBC and admission fee is after you pass the exam and this is for the enrollment to GBC. So again, you will get 50% exemption of these fees. So application fee will be about 80 US dollars after 50% exemption. And same way, admission fee will be about 1300 US dollars. Okay, now I'm talking about the living options. Um, international, we have the international student dormitory called Global House on campus. And all GBC first year students are required to stay in the dormitory. So this is part of the program. For your information, the monthly rent is 30,000 yen, uh, which is about 300 US dollars, all including um, internet and utilities such as electricity, water, and so on. And after second year, um, you have many options where you want to live. And you can continue to live in Global House as resident assistant. Or we can introduce Hyogo Prefecture public housing, which is quite reasonable uh, rent. Or, of course, you can leave the private apartments outside the campus. So this is our Global House International Students Dormitory. So this was built in 2019, just two years ago, and it's still very new and clean. So this is unit layout. So there's one big unit, it's quite spacious, and inside the unit, you see uh, four private rooms. So meaning uh, four students are shared one in one unit. So ideally two international students and two Japanese students share one unit. And there's a 
common area, which is dining room or kitchen area, bathroom, those are the common area. And of course you have each uh, your private room. So this is some photo for your uh, idea. So this is lobby located on each floor. So in this lobby, you can gather with other students. And this is dining room in each unit. And this is living room each unit. It's quite clean and still brand new. There's some other photos from the bathroom, from the kitchen, and another bathroom, and another bathroom. So this is a private room. So you have your own private room. The room size is not very big, but still very cozy and just perfect size to keep your privacy. And each room is furnished with closet, air conditioner, lamp, light, and bed and curtain. It has basically everything. And advantage of dorm life. So of course you will meet and interact with new people from all over the world. And as a security wise, it's completely safe because caretakers are ready 24 hours a day and help all the residents. And also we have two faculty members living with the students inside the dormitory. So this is some photo from the events. These are scenes from 2019. That's why they don't wear mask. And even under the pandemic period, the students enjoy as much as possible with the prevent preventive measures of COVID-19. Club activities. University of Hyogo is offering many different type of club activities, such as Japanese martial arts, judo, kendo, karate, kudo, and also other sports football, rugby, uh, table tennis, and music circle like jazz band, guitar, and so on. So you can enjoy and you can find your favorite club activities and join. So thank you for listening. And if you want to have more information about GBC, you can scan these QR codes to see the pr promotional video or Instagram. Thank you. And I guess many of you are waiting for the details of MEX scholarship information. So I continue for the MEX scholarship. Okay, so this is again full scholarship provided by the government of Japan for only four international GBC students. So this is special um, scholarship only two GBC students, so not applicable for other students attending to other courses. So this is very important information. So what is MEX scholarship? And this is program created by the Japanese Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology. It's very long, so we just call it MEX. And um, with the aim to increase the number of high performing international students studying in Japan. And again, University of Hyogo, GBC, was selected as one of 10 universities in Japan this year to be granted this scholarship by Japanese government. So not only, not all other Japanese university have this mixed scholarship to offer the students. So this is very attractive information for most of you. Um, Let's see uh, what kind of items the mixed scholarship fund will cover. So, of course, application fee, admission fee, tuition fee for four years will be covered. And furthermore, uh, monthly grant, 120,000 Japanese yen, which is about 1,000 US dollars, is also given to you for you to make a living, like for your rent, for your food, book and clothes, et cetera, et cetera. This amount is a way enough to cover all, all your living expense in, month, in a month. 
and four years total, which is very big amount, but approximately 8.2 million Japanese yen, which is equivalent to 80,000 US dollars will be covered. And additionally, you will get return flight cost one time. So basically everything is covered. But of course, this is very competitive and not all GBC students will receive this, uh, this scholarship. So from next page, I will give you some information how you can apply for this next scholarship. Okay, so this part is the procedure and this part is the standard uh, schedule. So first of all, to be eligible to apply for MEX scholarship, you have to take GBC exam and you have to pass the exam. So this means um, among the successful students who will be eligible to apply for MEX scholarship. So again, first you need to take GBC exam and pass the exam. And you will be, uh, interview exam will be scheduled sometime in February. So this will be done by the end of March. And after uh, you pass the GBC exam, there, is, there are two internal screening procedures, internal screening. So the first one is um, basically document screening. And then after the document screening, there will be the second internal screening. Uh, it's kind of ex exam, an interview exam, another interview exam. And which will be done by mid or end of May. And finally, eight internal candidates for MEXT are selected within the successful students of the GBC exam. So these eight internal, internal candidates will be recommended to the next Japanese government by us, which is around June to July. And final recipients for MEXT are approved by Japan, Japanese government, usually in the beginning or probably mid of August. So this is the kind of standard schedule for the selection procedure of the mixed scholarship. Okay. So we are looking forward to your application for GBC and mixed. Okay, thank you so much. So I will stop the sharing the slide. はい、松村さん、ひろめさんありがとうございました。これからちょっとごとに入ります。はい。はい、お願いします。あ、オッケー、そう、アウチェッキングでアウチャットボックス。エンド、テンキューフォーダコメントオフナイスエンドデスデア
the successful students passing GBC exam are eligible. So that's the um, we, that's why we have the first document screening. So after the first document uh, first document screening will be um, maybe top sixteen because we find that final number of the next scholars are eight. So probably the double number of the eight, so which is around 16 uh, people will get the chance to uh, take an exam for next. But this is um, subject to change, but this year we, we were like that, we did like that. And even if you uh, didn't, you don't pass the next uh, mixed exam, you are still eligible to come to Global Business course. And remember, uh, you are eligible to receive 50% tuition exemption. All the GBC international students are eligible to receive this 50% exemption. So, and then I also want you to remember after second year, if you're within top 30%, your tuition fee will be free. So just remember about that. And uh, you can also take advantage for that part of the uh, scholarship. Okay. And next question. Is it possible to get a scholarship for master degree dentist? Mm, so uh, again, for dentist, we, we're not sure. Um, so, mm, so sorry, we don't have the answer for this question. And next question. There must be a two year work experience, master degree in this. Um, so again, sorry, we don't have the information of the master degree dentist. Um, next question. How can I take the GBC exam? Can I take it from Mongolia? Yes. So of course you can take the GBC exam from Mongolia and so please visit our website and you can find the application guideline. And, and then uh, you can collect all of your necessary application materials and submit all of these by email to us. So you don't have to come to Japan. And then after we verify your application documents, we will send you the interview invitation by Zoom or some other online uh, online system. So you can take the interview through online. So you don't have to come to Japan. Okay.ありがとうございました。あのモンゴル語でいくつか質問が届いているので、私の方からあの通訳いたします。はい。えっと。最初の質問は、えっと、学部生で進学するときは日本語で進学できますか？日本語を基準にして進学できますかという質問です。はい。えっと今日あのご紹介したグローバルビジネスコースは、あの九月から始まるコースで、完全に英語のコースです。わかりました。で、日本語研究大学の別のコースです。ということですよね。はい。はい、わかりました。で、日本語研究大学の別のコースです。ということですよね。はい。はい、わかりました。で、日本語研究大学の別のコースです。ということですよね。はい。はい、わ
、えー、と学部 GBC に応募する場合は年齢制限はないんですが、はい、あの高校卒業年度が、えー、2019年9月以降に卒業した人に限りますわかりました。はいあの奨学金にあの申し込む際は年齢制限はないですか年齢制限はちょっと今情報を持ち合わせてないんですけれども、はい、あったとしても30とかだったと思いますあの GBC の学部を受けるような学生さんにはあの制限はかからないと思います。はい、わかりましたたたらちゃんそうのそうあそれはあとパクラブリンクスプロスルハトソルナスネヒツアルペスノークサソルテザザルキトソルナスネヒツアルパスペコクステタホイルマンガルウィソンのソーシークスアクソロザトクソンバスターグチュチャンメンザモンティトゥルクアホトソルナスネヒツアルペコクトソルティトゥルクアホトソルナスネヒツアルペコタプコンアプサワーマギスターとクトリンティトゥルクアプトバスノーナスネヒツアルペケティチャーはい。えー、と次の質問です。あのえー、と兵庫県立大学には医学部がありますかという質問です。医学部,医学部はないです。看護の,学科の、はい、コースはあります。あはい、わかりました。じゃあ、兵庫の人、イスロールとソース、アナーキンチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキチキえー、うつじゅつれでさ、えっと、あのー、コースの情報は全部ホームページにあります。はい、はい、はい、ホームページにあります。はい、はい、じゃあ、あのモンゴル語で伝え、伝えます。だって、ああ、僕見てしまうのは、そう、いろんな人と、そう、その、まなひょうが。エクスローシン、ウェポツンダンベッペランベン、ヘルタブホンウェポツロナルジュゼレ、ティンディスソルジュゼルンコミテスアファサムシュタインメンシュウザ、えっと、あとあの、英語で、あの、質問が二つ来ていますね。はい。はい。あ、えっと、追加ですね。えー、っと、はい、はい。あ、OK、so next question is, is there a program of engineer and architecture?、Uh, Yes, we have、um, other schools. So, like I said,、uh, Hyogo University has six schools, and other schools have an e n g i n e e r course and architecture course. But, not, unfortunately, unfortunately, not in our、uh, school, School of Economics and Management. Other s c h o o l you can learn e n g i n e e r and architecture. And, okay, okay. Is it, is it possible to apply as a sophomore?、Um, yes,、um, at least you can,、um, you, are elig- uh, you, can, you meet the eligibility. So, even if, for example, if you are a first year of university student, you are still eligible. So, let me、uh, repeat again you have to. Complete or expected to complete a 12 year education curriculum after September 2019. So, if you graduate your high school after 2019, September, you are eligible. So, 2019 September is a very important、uh, key you have to, you want to remember. Okay, I think I guess I answered all the questions for now. でえー、と学部生から大学院生にあの進学するのは可能でしょうかという質問ですね。はい、えー、と可能です、えー、とまだですねあの GBC2019 年からできたばっかりで今ようやく3年生があの3年生になった学生が一番新しい古い学生なんですね。なのでまだ実績がないんですけど外部のえー、大学から
今年の2019年4月から GBC のマスターコース始まってますので、外部から試験を受けて来られている学生さんはいます。で、内部、GBC の学部から行くことももちろん可能です。はい、わかりました。だてるたら、さよとじますとせさ、やくおとえん GBC ゲティンスクプロール、パクラウリン、パクラウラー、ソルスタタシャ、マギスターソルスバスンプシュタイクサスルテスメンタイクサ、だてえなソルスンダルス、あゆんひとあそるはゆるまんがあるいそん。Байгуулагдсан Okay, so I, I find some more English questions. And does it have a basketball team? If you talk about a basketball team, Club activities, I guess, yes, we have. Or even if not, you could create a basketball team inside our university. And the next question is it possible to take GBC mixed fee as a student of engineer or architect? Um, unfortunately, no. So the mixed scholar, as I just explained, is only applicable for GBC student. So,、uh, but you can probably research. There's a two t y p e of mixed scholarship, and one is、uh, embassy recommendation, and one is university recommendation. So, the one we just explained is university recommendation. So, probably you may have a chance to apply mixed scholarship as an、uh, embassy recommendation. But again,、um, I We really recommend it, you to、uh, all of you to consider about GBC course because we have eight uh, scholarship uh, available, eight mixed scholarship available out of 30 international students. So you have more chance to receive this mixed scholarship, which is still competitive, but you have more chance to get this opportunity comparing the embassy recommended. モンゴルの大学では、えー、と大学に入った、入学した後に、えー、と一、まあ、3年生の時まで学部を変えることはできます。えー、と兵庫県立大学では、えー、とこの GBC で、あのー、入学して、その後に学部を変えることはできますかっていう質問ですね。うん、現時点ではそれはできないですね。はい、もし変えるんだったらもう一度やめて受け直すっていうことになると思います。もうあの変えるとしたらもうまた一年生から始めるっていうことですか。はい。はい。またあの試験を受けて。そうですね。はい。はい。えっ、ー、とあまりお勧めしません。<笑>あはい。まあはい。わかりました。さて、たらちやそしなさつまなむいせつのろとしなはだらくつプロセスをさてて、のごしちょくつこんべて、てきょこむちんきすろうとする。いむしちょくつくつぷしちきごとす。つしゅうとこんべんしょう。てたぶほんにこと、あと。Zain business in course start and business in Hitlerion, which puts in the source, Durunjil business in Hitlerion, Twins is the Hitchens, uh, Hotor courses, the Jimmy Cortor courses, the old Hitler or Nox, I thought that back home, that they get a no go Hirway, Tap Hong, Hitlers, a Hulk skin bottles, the head, no need to courses as or sat, a Derison, a Shatlasta, which is a Tarachin, no one is water, no Tarach Hor Hark, Stas, Hutpreha. шалгалтыг өгөөд а тэгээ тэр хөтөлбөрлөөгөө ордог юм байна шүү заяа. Тэгээ тэгэхээр ерөнхийдөө бол энэ хёгомжийн их сургуулийн төлөөлөгч маань бол ерөнхийдөө бол сургуул хооронд дэн шилжгийг бол нэг хол зөвлөхгүй байна. Яг тэгэл цагийн халд нь цагийн хооронд цаг алд нь тийм учраас та бүхэн мэрэгчлэл бол зөв сонгоод орох ёстой юм байна шүү. 
ありがとうございました。すみませんまた質問が来ました、えーと。就職のサポート、就職活動のサポートはありますかということです。はい、あ,のあるはずです。えー、と今まだあの、先ほども申し上げましたように、CBC、まだ2019年からですので、今3年生までしかいないんですが、あの3年時にインターンシッププログラムっていうものが、うん、ああのもう、ついこの間から始まったんですけれども、はい、そういったところを利用して日本の企業とのパイプもできたりしますので、はいあのえー、今後、えー、そういったことのサポートをどうするかということを、えー、協議していくことになると思います。はい、わかりました。じゃあ、次は、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たエクスローティングオーターコースでセクインターンシップをインターンシップをとやっても、ジャンチモ、スコットルジャポンカンパンのインターンシップをとって、ジャポンにカンパンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタッフを作って、ジャポンのスタエクスローシンホルモンガリソンアスケーヤガーバーゴスクンポチラスモニクトムチャスンアホタースシスマンアトコータコースタガティムチャスヤガタイムノアジトシレキムティムチャガイムシラスハラハンダヨータコキミテツイノオイトノテガアトアソスターオイトノテガトスクイトノトスインアジトシラハジトロスティムチムチプロトヨータリショイムアトウッドスティンティモティムファンバトルヤーナーチェ。ヒロメさん、失業ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。これで、あの、近年なっているそうなので、あの、終了したいと思います。はい、ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。はい、ありがとうございました。Thank you. あ、すみません、どうぞ。あ、もう大丈夫です。いや、せっと、あ、we're looking forward to receiving your many of applications for GBC。so thank you very much today。